Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Uh, well, I thought we were due for an Isaac run, but I forgot, so I clicked random, and we got Isaac. So I'm gonna take that as a sign that we're gonna play as Isaac today. And I apologize if that's two Isaac runs in a row, but you know, every Isaac run is a little bit like Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. For example, we got the Necronomicon in our first room. That sucks, that's like getting the coconut chocolate. You know what? I apologize. I like coconut. Coconut gets a bad rap. I like a lot of foods that that some people find a little bit, uh, shall we say, off-putting occasionally. For example, black licorice, don't mind it at all, like salted Scandinavian style licorice, sock it to me. Black jelly beans, for example, also uh, totally up my alley. Maybe should have waited until I added an extra bomb here just in case we could get enough money to go to the shop, but that's okay. You know, really strong fermented foods, kimchi, sauerkraut, things along those lines. Absolutely. But I, I had to think of a chocolate that uh, a lot of people dislike. And I thought of coconut and I was untrue to my own personal taste because I think coconut chocolate is delicious. I'm not sure if this is a Canadian thing, but uh, we have like this, this uh, chocolate bar here called Bounty. Not the quicker picker upper Bounty, the, the chocolate bar. It's a coconut based chocolate bar. Um, and we have... Um, it's called Mirage? Malibu. Well, Malibu's like a, a coconut rum. Anyway, I, I assume that that is other places as well because alcohol is perhaps the only uh, human produced good more popular than chocolate worldwide. Anyway, long story short, if you're out there and you love coconut, then uh, by all means, don't let my oppression of. Uh, it's a fruit, right? My oppression of that fruit uh, get you down because I was just saying it to fit in. Now, if you're the kind of person, though, that likes those, uh, that Willy Wonka made gum that tastes like soap, you got a real fucking problem, though. You gotta get that sorted out, but coconut's A-OK -okay in my books. Anyway, oh! Okay, I should shoot this poop so I have an escape route. This run's going alright so far. Spelunker's head, the, you know, the earlier you get it, the better, of course. That's pretty much, uh, the most positive thing I'll say about it. It's, uh, not as good as X-Ray Goggles, but it is pretty useful. Uh, and, and should allow us to go to a lot more shops, maybe get uh, a few more secret room items, which, uh, you know, it's a pretty good pool, that secret room item pool. If you can get things like the Ankh, or, uh, you know, the 1-Up, or Raw Liver. Did you see his health bar go up there? I call bullshit on that, he should be dead now, though. And we get the 8-Ball, which is a, a reroll and a half right there, into an HP upgrade, and I would say this floor has gone pretty well so far. I would love to get, uh... Another bomb, so I can go to the second secret room. That's the other thing, is the second secret rooms, uh, at least another HP or two you would expect to get. Uh, if, if we have bombs necessary to open them, that is. But unfortunately, we don't right now. That's okay. Would have preferred to have used my bomb to go to the second secret room rather than get three cents. But hey, if there had been nine cents in that room, then, uh, who knows? That might have, uh, that might have changed my tune. I'm not gonna open that yet, but I probably will open that in the future. That blood bank interests me a great deal as well, as does the curse room, actually. I say I'll probably open it in the future because I, uh, I want to save my, my keys just in case we get enough money to go to the shop, but it's fairly likely that we won't. Uh, well, now we'll open it for sure, and we'll see what we've got inside. Uh, okay, we got more money and another key and plenty of plays in the blood bank. That may have just made the shop worthwhile in and of itself right there. So that was well worth opening. Now, we should be in a pretty good position here to not ruin our deal with the devil chances. That being said, you know, low damage, Duke of Flies, it's annoying. If we had a single bomb here, it would make our lives so much easier. But we don't have a single bomb, so we're gonna have to fight Duke of Flies the old-fashioned way. If we'd gotten a single damage upgrade, it would have made a big difference. Duke of Flies is like, if you have a bomb, he's probably the easiest boss you can fight on the first floor. Uh, even easier than Pin. Pin seems to hit me more often than Duke of Flies does. If you don't have any damage upgrades and you don't have a bomb, then he's super freaking frustrating, which is always really annoying because he always seems easy and then ends up, uh, you know, being less so. Who's the hardest boss you can fight early in the game? Uh, definitely, uh, you know, an early Headless Horseman is the most annoying. Very rarely you can get an early Fallen, I think, but I'm not sure if you can get it on the basement or the, or the cellar. It might only be in, uh, you know, the caves and beyond. Anyway, just don't get hit by these flies towards the end here. And I should have a free ticket to get to a devil room. Alright, it worked out. Pentagram, we will obviously take without worrying about uh, re-rolling it. And then in here... Yeah, yeah, I think I could justify taking Lord of the Pit. And I think we can re-roll the shovel and it became the nail. I don't think it's worth picking up. 
you might see there's some kind of cute stuff we can do with it, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, so I'm uh, I'm super psyched about this. This is pretty good. What do we do next? We go to our shop and we uh, you know look at how our health situation is going to look. Book of Revelations is not what I'm looking for, but that's okay. Gamble on this a little bit. We need to get the money to make Book of Revelations worthwhile in the first place. And it looks like that will be completely plausible based on the amount of, uh, oh, why, why pick that up? So stupid. We lost ourselves a play there, but we got a nickel out of it anyway, so at least our money situation is basically sorted. Uh, but, you know, the more the merrier, and of course we would love to get that HP back as well. But first, bombs. We can get some bombs. Uh, for once, even though I can bomb my way into the item room, I would actually rather use a key. That doesn't happen very often. We're not going to get any rerolls to use on Book of Revelations, so our shop is pretty much screwed. Uh, I'm going to go to our second secret room. Eh. It's not the end of the world, but it's also not fantastic. Maybe would have been better off going to the secret room. And we have Little Chad. Little Chad is garbage, so that has turned out quite poorly for us so far. Now, there is a three cent red heart on the shop. So, bare minimum, we know we want to play this like another red heart's worth. And worst case scenario, it would pay for itself. It did slightly more than pay for itself. Um, so, we'll go buy that, and then we'll, we'll examine our situation here. Buying the Spirit Heart also gives us, like, another two plays, which I think is worth it, even though we may end up losing some money in it. Um, we got the chance to get basically what we got, which was the IV bag here, but in the future, that could be the blood bag. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, I guess I won't be going... I, I might go to the Curse Room. We're not gonna have... We're gonna have this amount of health. That's probably fine. Uh, is there another bomb we could buy? Because there is a Tinted Rock that might be nice to get. Uh, there is a bomb, so let's buy that. And we'll use that to access the Tinted Rock, rather than the Secret Room. It's kind of a tough call. Oh, we only lose half a Spirit over coming in here, of course. Uh, but I think the Tinted Rock maybe is a little bit more, uh... Along the lines of what I'm looking for right now. I already have money. The Secret Room likely is gonna pay out with money. I'm gonna open it. This is a bad decision. Uh, because we still have a little bit of a Spirit Heart left, I'm gonna be a little aggressive here, and we're gonna play this four times. All right, so we only got four cents out of it. That kind of sucks, but at least we have more than enough money to get uh, something on the next floor, assuming we can actually go to the room to begin with. Kind of a shitty floor, in all honesty, but Pentagram is awesome, and uh, yeah, we might as well. Uh, Pentagram is awesome, and we got Lord of the Pit as well. Uh, Goat Hoof, not really that pressing, especially since we already got the speed upgrade from Lord of the Pit, but uh, yeah, Pentagram's great. What do we get here? Reroll Pedestal? Very happy to have a reroll Pedestal. Poison Touch is a good item, but it's a good item I might avoid for the time being because it, there's a reroll pedestal. I know we could reroll it right now. Ah, let's go for it. Little risky because Poison Touch is already pretty good. Bomb Bag is good, but it also means that we get less of other consumables. So I, I've started kind of shying away from those items a little bit. You know, Sack of Pennies, Bomb Bag. Uh, it, it's okay if we have to take it, we will. But if we don't have to take it, I might be better off rerolling it into something else. Especially given that it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to bomb my way into any special, you know, shops or uh, item rooms. Nope, the, the secret room, unfortunately, uh, we're not 100% sure yet, but it seems to just border uh, normal rooms. Which doesn't really give us any benefit from a, a key saving standpoint. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. Uh, another key, so that's very useful. And, okay, so it does actually look like we might get lucky and have uh, maybe an item room or a shop that we can bomb our way into. We have a key that we could use on the other one. Still not one-shotting, but still three-shotting flies just by picking up the pentagram. Not normal flies, but neutral flies. But still, that's very disappointing. Okay, hey, where, what are you doing here? Just die. I got the pentagram, I should be doing more damage than this. All right, so let's go reroll the bomb bag quickly. We're not going to get too many rerolls on this floor, and this is a very aggressive kind of positioning I put put, uh, put ourselves in here. So, Demon Baby, it's a special item, you're not supposed to pick it up to the end of the floor. Yeah, well, you're supposed to, you know, floss every day, too. Does everybody do that? You know, you're supposed to eat ten servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Do you do that? Just remember that before you uh, get on my ass for something like that. You know, I'm comfortable the way I'm doing things, and it's working out reasonably well for me. Don't sweat it too much. Now, with you dead... Uh, we can bomb our way into this shop, which is nice because we know it will... N Don't fuck with me, Demon Judgment. I should have killed that fly first because then Demon Judgment wouldn't have had anything to shoot at, but still, that was frustrating. Okay, three cents. 
Not really that important, but might pay for another bomb for us. And please be something half decent. Ah, notched axe. Yeah, the worst, isn't it? It is. Um... Okay, well, we bought another key. I feel good about that, at least. And we'll have a reroll ready for this boss room, devil room kind of corridor here, which is probably the most important. After that, it'll be the shop. After that, it'll be chocolate milk, which is also terrible. So we got two things to reroll right now. All right. Don't get hit against Peep. That is the most important thing. Demon Baby. A nice little, you know, damage bonus a little bit. I'm very happy I got Lord of the Pit. A lot of people choose to... Not give up HP, or at least not give up 2 HP to get flying items, because you can passively get flying by becoming Guppy, or, you know, a curse room gives you Spirit of the Night, or something like that, uh, or, you know, you find Transcendence in your secret room. There's plenty of opportunities for stuff like that, uh, but but I like the deal, and uh, it's, it's really going to help me out on this peep fight, because I don't have to worry about creep at all. I can just get in there uh, as much as is humanly possible, finish this fight, and it's one of the easiest peep fights we've had in a long time. Unfortunately, no deal with the devil, just HP. That's okay. So I really doubt we'll get a second reroll, but we might get, like, notched axe here. Or, <laughs> what I meant to say is we might get 9 volt here. They, you know, they can sound kind of similar. You can forgive me on that one, maybe. But it looks like, in, in actuality, we'll probably be leaving this floor with Demon Baby and an HP upgrade, which, uh, you know, I don't love the thought of it. I thought I might get out of there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. I may end up opening this golden chest because I'd really like, well, I would really like almost anything. Stat upgrades, which are very, very common from Golden Chests, or at least reasonably common. Bombs would allow us to access the uh, secret room. The second secret room, I should say. And uh, apart from that, more keys pays for itself, doesn't it? So yeah, one key for a damage upgrade seems pretty good here. Alright, well, no chocolate milk and uh, no shop item. Makes Homer something something. We're going to head down to the next floor. Very uh, interesting run so far. Like, our damage is good. Lots of other things have kind of uh, not been amazing for us. Book of Belial is fine. It's a good item. Uh, it's it maybe even borderline a great item, but I'm not going to pick it up because D6 is too valuable to me. It is possible that that's that's the first decision when it comes to like spacebar items that we could foreseeably end up regretting, I think. Because uh, Book of Belial could be the right choice for us. The quote-unquote right choice, if you believe that there is a right choice uh, on an, any given Isaac run. Okay, come on. You bounce into the middle. There we go. That's how we save bombs. Oh, flat penny, so good. Okay. Uh, yeah, beautiful. We'll come back and get that later once we get another bomb. I am going to come into this curse room. We've already taken red heart damage, so I don't really mind this too much. It's an interesting one here, isn't it? I'm not gonna use. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna use it once, then reroll it. Why? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have picked it up probably. But we got Ouija board basically. Why use it once? Well, that's a bit of a complicated uh, question, but basically I sacrificed one HP. I'm going to pick this up, too. Nice. Uh, I sacrificed one HP uh, for three spirit arts, two and a half, I guess, because we lost one on the way out, to protect this eternal heart in the future. Now, you could argue that we wouldn't need to protect this eternal heart if we just waited to pick it up until we left. And you'd be right. And I would feel like an idiot right now, which I do. In any case, though, here we are. As long as we don't take too much damage, it's not that big of a deal. And plus, this protects red hearts for deals with the devil in the future. There we go. There's a, a mathematical uh, reasoning that is actually somewhat sound, at the very least. So, this is why I didn't pick up the uh, the Eternal Heart immediately, by the way. Because we could have had a blood bank on this floor. I expected it would come in the form of an arcade, but this is fine, too. There we go. Compass. It's an actual good item. Surprise, surprise. There's also a boss trap room, which is actually lovely. Oh, this is Key City right here. Uh, there's a boss trap room, which is lovely, because, man, this floor is small, but, uh, because, of course, it, uh, here, you pop up, and then I go like that. Um, we can easily access that by way of our, uh, by way of our, uh, blood bank, which we are going to, like, right after this room's over. Right after I get the ability to get my train of thought back, apparently. So this is a floor that's pretty seamy. I'm an idiot, but as long as this we can play this thing one more, it doesn't matter. I shouldn't have picked that up right away, but again, not likely to make a big difference. Hopefully. Oh, that nickel. No more keys out of it. I will probably go to that library, just because we've seen a lot of books. I won't be able to use a reroll on it, because I would rather use our reroll on the item room, but at least we can, you know, use a key and knock that out. 
Stem cells, I love. Uh, I don't. I don't love it always compared to other HP upgrades, but I always love getting an HP upgrade as long as I'm not, you know, in permanent Polaroid invincibility or Horror of Babylon or anything like that. Plus, this gives me more plays on that blood bank, which gives me more keys, which gives me more outlets to uh, improve ourselves in the future. So I don't mind getting stem cells in this situation. I think it is absolutely an acceptable choice. This is an easy, easy, easy boss trap room for us. We can just take out like one of these Larry Juniors, then the rest just falls into place very, very quickly. And even more HP at the end. All right. So it would be lovely to have uh, Nun's Habit right now. We don't, but that's okay. So at least two HP coming our way on this floor via that Eternal Heart as well as that Stem Cells. We can get a F ton of keys forever. And we know that eventually this will pay out with the, uh, the Blood Bag. All right, let's check out our uh, room in here. This is kind of what I was hoping for, Book of Sin with a red heart. Uh, a tarot card that gives us the Magician, which I'm just going to use. I know that's a bad use of it, but it kind of sucks, doesn't it? And we're just going to use Book of Shadows here. That should give us maybe five or six plays on this uh, blood bank here, which, if nothing else, free money, free keys. And that'll do it right there. Yeah, we're at least going to pick up, Jesus, six keys out of that, which is crazy. And um, we'll pick this up. It is very tempting to reroll the library, but the item room is uh, is more pressing. Well, the devil room is the most pressing because we could become guppy, but for now, let's just move on. Don't let me forget about that eternal heart. That eternal heart's an important part of this whole uh, arrangement here. We'll definitely open this, of course. There's another red heart there. I'm really hoping that that ends up... Okay, you went over the rock there, which is bullshit, but uh, I'll allow it as long as you die without hurting me. Come on. Like, one more hit would do it. There we go. Well, more or less. Jeez, that was longer than I expected. And here we go. Boss fight against Chubb. I don't really want to use bombs to make this happen. I mean, I do, but I don't really have enough to feel like that would be a smart idea. So what's my thinking for Chubb? Well, I've got speed, he's got speed. But I think our best option is pretty much just hit him from afar. And then when he comes by, we'll just get on top of that rock so he can't hurt us. So we'll do like a long charge and then he comes down here. Makes our life pretty easy. We can do pretty much the exact same thing right here. He charges, and then we go like that, and uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. This is going to be an easy fight, and I really hope we can get our second deal with the devil as a result. Oh, it's beautiful. Long range here. I would even welcome uh, Krampus right now. I, I normally do, but uh, I would now as well, I guess. Super bandage. So I picked it up early just to see if it would give us uh, like some extra HP that I could then use on the blood bank. Which it doesn't, but uh, like I thought maybe it would fill the, the empty containers as well. It doesn't, but Super Bandage is good in and of itself. So it's gonna be uh, compass and tons of money, tons of keys, three or, yeah, three HP upgrades and some spirit hearts, and we got uh, a bunch of guppy items. Well, one guppy item. That's not really a bunch unless you, you know, really lower your standards. The key situation is very exciting. Just trying to see if there's any other red hearts we can uh, gain value from here. Well, oh, it was Book of Belial in this room. Okay, so if you reroll that, well, it doesn't look like we'll be getting the blood bag on this floor. Game kid, we can't even use that for anything. If we'd reroll that earlier, we could, but now we can't. Oh well. Still a very good floor, and uh, this eternal heart will be the icing on the cake, I guess. We also got Ouija boards. We got Spectral Tears, big effing deal, but still. Uh, let's uh, let's move along here. It's gonna give us five HP, five and a half, five and a half Spirit Hearts. Good damage, great defensive items, uh, and the compass. So we're we still have two floors to go that are gonna be you know jam packed with items. Hopefully, uh, they you know live up to their kind of uh, their potential basically. If we can get, like, a, uh, a skinny odd mushroom, I would be in love right now. Alright. Now, there is a tinted rock here. I don't really want to use the... I don't really want to blow up the tinted rock. I really want small rock, but... Above all else, I want to be able to go to these uh, secret rooms, second secret rooms, and so on and so forth. Mm, this should be very easy. The other thing that would be great on this run, because our damage is good, but, you know, when it hits an enemy, it stops. Uh, piercing shots would be lovely as well. I think piercing shots are really underrated. I mean, they're not as good as Polyphemus, but I think they're closer than a lot of people give them credit for. That was a little closer, speaking of which. And, okay. More keys is always nice. 
do exactly the same thing again here. I really thought that we'd be coming uh, up to the boss room, but at the very least, we are coming to a room that uh, we will be able to make good use of our D6 on. So, just kind of hold the button down. And that's good. Stay away from the flies. We're running a little bit on autopilot right now, but that's okay. This is Necropolis, which I didn't even notice. And it's always a good sign when you don't notice that you're on Necropolis because it means you're doing something right. If you notice, then you, you never notice being on Necropolis as a good thing. Let's put it that way. Dare I? I dare. I will. Um, at this point, with the amount of keys that we have, I think uh, Cancer is a better choice for us than uh, Flat Penny. Flat Penny in one floor gave us like 18 keys, which, unless we get Guppy's Tail, or even if maybe we get Guppy's Tail, is probably more than enough to keep us alive for the remain, or more than enough to keep us, uh, you know, rich in golden chests. Not to mention, you know, any rooms that need to be open for the remainder of the game. Uh, so I think the rate of fire is really what we desire right now. We haven't gotten any tiers upgrades on this run, and it seems like you're always missing one thing at the very least. On this run, we've got HP, we've gotten good damage, kind of lack some tiers upgrades. Good damage apparently just means uh, Pentagram plus Steven, but hey, you know, raw damage upgrades are not always that easy to come by. In fact, oftentimes they're very, very difficult to come by. Actually, we should make our way to the shop as soon as possible because there's a mini boss in the secret room, which has to be greed. Which is lovely because it means that our uh, shop will be completely open to actually giving us uh, another item. Map, Nun's Habit, 9 Volt, it's all good. Now, of course, if we really wanted to cheese the game, uh, we, we could, trinket-wise here, and every time there's money, we just go back and pick up Flat Penny, and then we put the Cancer Trinket down when we're not fighting enemies. But, you know, that's... I don't have the kind of patience for that, as you might expect. Speaking of patience here, I do have the patience for this. Come on. Come on. Don't just be Counterfeit Penny. Oh, my God. Just a little patience. Um... I'm not going to find that say, or I'm not going to go into the second secret room yet. Okay, really wish that I didn't have such knockback on my shots, but that's a byproduct of Demon Baby and Stem Cells. Good. And it's the 9 volt, which means immediately we will go and reroll the item room, and then we'll come back down here, and we'll get another reroll right away, and we'll go back up and we'll reroll the item room. 9 volt is actually, I mean, Nun's Habit is, well, we can definitely do this now. Nun's Habit is definitely the best spacebar augmentation item. It's not even really close. But 9 volt is definitely second, and very, like, confident second. Like, I don't think the battery is even, what am I, what is my problem? <laughs> I, I, like, walked in and was like, it's a passive, I'll take it. The whole reason I came up here was to reroll that. Alright, a little bit of a dingleberry, that's okay. I don't think we should buy Nival right away. I think we should, uh, I guess we'll fight Greed and see if we can get some value out of that. That was so stupid. I got distracted by my own conversation. It's almost, you know, self-flattering in a way. Alright, don't make the ultimate mistake here and get pushed out of the door, as sometimes happens. Because you're kind of an idiot when you play Isaac sometimes. Nope. It's okay. It doesn't look like we're getting a Steam Sale or anything here that we can reroll. But that's okay, at least we know. So we'll work our way over to that boss room, and then we'll at least have some rerolls coming fast and furious at that point. We could also start rerolling the shop item and hope to get, I guess, the map or Nun's Habit. And it's not altogether that unlikely, but, you know, my philosophy is uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. So, you know, the, aka, you know, what you have is better than what you might have. It's not necessarily an ambitious philosophy, but it's a philosophy that leads you to, uh... That leads you to relative safety, which is perhaps the most important thing when you're already dealing a pretty decent amount of damage in this situation. So, as long as we just keep stacking up minor upgrades, uh, the, the birth between the game and myself should never really close. That's my thinking, at least. Alright, I can't, I can't extinguish this fire. I'm sorry to tell you. I wish I could. I did take a little bit of damage on this floor. It is Necropolis. I got very lucky to not fight many or any Masks of Infamy, but uh, really, this is the moment of truth right here. I really hope that we end up uh, fighting an easy boss or the Fallen, who is actually pretty easy, all things considered. And then, um, oh wow, lucky me. And then we end up getting a deal with the Devil afterwards as well. That would be my dream situation here. All right, so that should be easy. 
Uh, there, th that second bomb is so key, it takes out like a quarter of the, the total health of the Fallen. Now, just don't take damage against the Fallen, and uh, your odds of getting a second deal with the Devil item afterwards are quite high. There you go. Alright, so Guppy's head will pick up, and then we'll see if there just has to be one Guppy item in here now. It's gonna be Krampus. This is fine. This makes our range upgrade pick up a, a little bit less awful. And uh, then we can reroll Guppy's head. I don't know if it rerolls to another deal with the devil item or if it just rerolls to a boss item. But either way, we don't want Guppy's head. And if we're going to reroll either Guppy's head or Lump of Coal, it should be Guppy's head because Lump of Coal provides us with a passive benefit. I was really hoping this would actually be a deal with the devil because the odds of us being able to get a Guppy item would be huge. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's fine. This still turns out fantastically for us. A really nice kind of seam, as I like to say. Uh, yes. Yes, I will take it. I will. And I'm going to take it now because there could be an Eternal Heart coming uh, later for us. So, definitely, we should probably have not taken three different abilities to fly. This is very nice for us, though. When you become Guppy, I think you kick yourself if you don't take it. Even though it did cost us a ton of HP. It's all, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I think we're going to get out of this just fine. Beyond that, I think this was the right choice. So we definitely want to go to that second secret room and see if that's an eternal heart. We definitely want to get our uh, 9 volts. Do we want to get it right now? Here's what I think we do. I think we uh, first explore this room, which should give us another reroll, and it will. Kind of a tricky room here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it gives us another reroll. Then, we come into the second secret room, and if it's an item somehow, maybe via a red chest, we can uh, re-roll it. If it sucks, come back out and buy 9-volt, re-roll it again. It's missing page, which unfortunately is on re-rollable. So dare we re-roll the 9-volt? Absolutely not. It gives us, uh, you know, one-third more re-rolls over the rest of the game. We might as well buy this pill. Could be an HP upgrade, even if it's an HP downgrade. I think it was still worth the, the gamble there. And we'll be moving on, admittedly with only one HP. Take, becoming Guppy cost us somewhere along the lines of four and a half spirit hearts. Four, sorry, four and a half red hearts. That's a lot. Permanently. But the extra damage that it gives us, I mean, that's the, the overall weighting, isn't it? Will the damage that we've gotten, the killing power that we've gotten from Guppy, compensate for the uh, four and a half that we just gave up? I think yes. I think over time it will. So, uh... Actually, Spectral Tears is shaping up to be a pretty smart decision on a room like this because it allows us to still generate flies even when we're over rocks, which means that we're completely safe uh, from harm's way here. Okay, uh, just maybe pop on down there. Reroll that into some HP. Alright, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, it doesn't look like there's an eternal... Or, sorry, it doesn't look like there's a uh, an arcade on this floor. No arcade on this floor, to me means that uh, if this second secret room has an eternal heart, we pick it up pretty much straight away. This is going to be over. Uh, we also know that there's no mini-boss in the shop, which is crazy considering how good our shop luck has been so far. We've only fought greed in secret rooms, so those are just red hearts. Uh, that means if there is a blood bank somewhere, that's that's wonderful for us. Um, just trying to, I, I mean, I should play this to get as many spirit hearts as possible, but so be it. What would I love to get on our shop? Uh, Nun's Habit would be amazing. Kind of a, a runner-up. Definitely uh, Mom's Purse to allow us to keep this Cancer Trinket and spawn as many flies as is, uh, you know, plausible. Ultra Pride on this room, which means that we would get uh, pretty much exclusively red chests. I don't really like it. In some situations, it's uh, appropriate. I don't think this is one of them. And we're really tearing enemies up. I'm very happy about that. In the future, I would also, uh, ooh, careful, I would also love to, uh, maybe still do a little bit more damage, but having some more HP helps a lot, too. It's really, it's, it's Relic and Miter. Uh, if we could get one or both of those, that would help us out a great deal. I'm not gonna take it. Uh, can I take four different flying items over the course of one run? The answer is yes, but I don't want to. Uh, we'll reroll that again. I'm looking for something like raw liver. I would find onk or one up acceptable. Uh, no reason to become. It, that's not just like oh fetus items are overpowered. I'm too good for them. Uh, it's actually that that fetus item I think would make us a little bit worse now. If not worse, at least not so much better. Not better enough to be worth the risk. I'd say. I mean, it's not a risk that much really because it's still really good. But anyway. 
Certainly won't be taking Transcendence. Reroll that into the Ankh. I think that's acceptable. With the amount of damage that we're doing, having three periods of permanent Polaroid invincibility against Blue Baby would probably be enough to get the kill. So, uh, as long as we don't lose that Ankh life too early and end up, you know, using it on the Womb Part 2 or something like that, we should be, uh... We should have increased our chances of winning just by that, uh, course of action right there. Mind you, I am losing, uh, kind of a lot of red hearts here, but keep in mind we are on... Oh, that's so good. Keep in mind we are on, um... Necropolis here, which is a difficult floor. Probably, on average, more difficult than the womb floors that come after it, depending on the room generations that you get. In my opinion, at least. Like, the Mask of Infamy rooms, just fuck them, man. Fuck them forever. And we'll certainly be rerolling the ladder, and I will definitely be buying that, uh... That Spirit Heart, which could keep us alive here. How do you use the Joker card in a situation like this? It's a very good question. One that I don't necessarily totally have a good answer for. Uh, I think we kind of wait and see if we get more HP, but it seems logical to use it on this floor. Because if we use it on this floor, you know, it, it there's no reason to use it on the Womb Part 2, because you just get the trip to Shoal. You could use it on the Cathedral. You can't use it on the chest, I think. Oh, that's so good. Um, but I'd rather see if we get an HP first, like another HP upgrade. We'll see, though. So, it, like, this floor seems like the right one to use it on. Why not the Womb Part 1? Because we could just, like, naturally earn a deal with the Devil on the Womb Part 1 anyway. We can't know that until we get past this floor, unfortunately, which is the, the tricky part of that whole situation. Why do I even care about this golden poop right now? Like, early in the game, golden poops are so important. Or, potentially, at least. Uh, right now, it's, it's fucking meaningless. <laughs> I have 32 cents with no shops remaining in the game. And I don't want to get counterfeit pennies, so... No big deal. Do we reroll the bean or the boss item? We reroll the bean. Because the boss item is much more likely to be... Good from the outset, basically. Good from the bungee. If you're gonna quote, uh... B-I-G-B-O-I. Yeah, Mr. Mega is substantially better than the Bean. So, again, to recap, we wait and see if we get some more HP so I can feel better about taking a deal with the Devil. Like, I don't want to take a two Red Heart deal for the Pact if, uh... If we only have two Red Hearts, or a two Red Heart deal for the Mark, for example. If we have three, I would probably take either of those. But we'll see. It might be a deal with the Angel. That would be very nice to get us, like, a Relic, or a Miter... Or Sacred Hearts, you know, God forbid, or God permit, I guess, in that situation. Um, okay, that's sober, that was good. We can't reroll Cat of Nine Tails uh, right now, unfortunately, but we'll Joker card, Guppy's Tail, and Rage. Uh, both of those are ones that I don't want. So, that's gonna do it for this floor. At least we got one HP upgrade from somewhere. I'm still pretty confident about our chances. I think I still think that becoming Guppy was the right choice. Getting Mom's Purse and another HP upgrade on this floor was pretty good. It's down to the next floor with the compass to guide us. Ooh, that library is pretty tempting. I think, in fact, this is one of the few situations in which I will actually visit the library uh, and, and try to get a double item room. We've already taken four, four or so books out of the rotation. Ah, uh, I wish. I mean, we could, but I'm not gonna. Alright. Let's get our double item room going here. Two books is good. I think we still have, uh, Anarchist Cookbook to, to come about here. There it is. That might be the last one. We've already seen Book of Sin. Book of Revelations I did not buy, so it might show up again. Uh, but we have seen it. We'll see, I guess. We're gonna get tons of rerolls here, so I think this is a floor where we explore everything. Even if it does minimize our chances of getting a deal with the devil, at this point, given our HP, the uh, deals with the devil are probably secondary. I think that's our last book. Secondary to what? Secondary to our, you know, desire to get more items, especially if those items could be HP. Uh, this room is so consistently a break-even. It's kind of annoying. What do I mean by break even? Well, you gain a spirit heart, but you also get hit at least once. Oftentimes, it's le it's worse than break even for me, but uh, I, I never seem to turn a profit on it. I should have walked out, walked back in, and maybe could have found some uh, tinted rocks there. All right, we should have double item pedestals coming here, and we get poison bombs. 
I think it's worth picking up the poison bombs. It's a bit of a compromise, but because we have Mr. Mega, you know, basically it's like, um, how, how would I phrase it? Nah, th th my metaphors, the, you know, my trademark, fairly descriptive, but also out there metaphors just aren't coming to play here. But once you get one of them, one of the bomb synergies or one of the bomb items, it makes the other ones better, you know? There's some synergistic uh, effects. It's like if you buy a hot dog, you're more likely to buy a soda than buy them both separately, if that makes sense, you know? Maybe that's that's an okay analogy there. Now, we're uh, we're doing fine here. I would really rather not do so many rerolls if we could just get a half decent item from this one right off the bat. That would be very nice. We shall see. It'd have to be a really fucking good space bar item to convince me. You know what? Three spirit hearts convinces me. Even though it means that the Bible will probably show up at some point. Did I not reroll the Bible already? Why didn't that show up in our library? But anyway, um, it's all good. I would, uh, I would be content with that. Those extra three spirit hearts should guarantee me uh, survival for another couple of floors at the very least. Long enough for the onk to basically pop on the chest, which is all we need. If we pop the onk on the final boss room, uh, we're not guaranteed, but very, very confident in our chances to win. I'm not gonna open that, even though we could. Instead, well, we can always open it later if we want another reroll. Well, it looks like we're gonna get a single cube of meat here, which at this point is, uh, kind of not really what I'm interested in. At least I didn't take damage in the process, uh, at least not yet. Ah, and there we go. It had to happen at some point, right? The knockback is too crazy here. Just let the, the flies fucking suck on, at this part. They do get the job done if they manage to hit the enemy, but we kind of have to knock them into it. Oh, we did get a deal with the devil. That's very surprising to me. All right, well, one orbital's fine. Shit, dude. I kind of like picking up the pack tier for the permanent Polaroid invincibility. I know it costs us, uh, it basically turns our remaining red hearts into spirit hearts, but the permanent Polaroid invincibility makes up for that a little bit, I think. Uh, okay, that worked, thankfully. Is it risky? Yeah, it's fucking risky. It's, it's a silly, silly-ish move. All right, well, at least we save one bomb on our way out here. But, uh, I think it might be the right decision. Oh, okay, time to find out. Yep. <laughs> well, at least with permanent Polaroid invincibility, we pretty much guarantee a break even here, right? Yeah. Okay, our boss room is gonna be right here. Now this one has some rocks available, which makes it easy enough for me to kind of just stay tight over here. Good stuff, okay. Might as well use one more bomb to check for uh, a better item in here. Oh, how I would love raw liver. What else you got for me though? One up, one up is Fine, I think it would give us like zero red hearts if we respawn, which is maybe not super encouraging, but that's okay. We are gonna use bombs on this mom's heart fight. I think they're more appropriate on this mom's heart fight than they are against Isaac, and we're only gonna need like three of them if they actually land and we don't knock them super far away. So let's try that. Oh, that was perfect. Much better. Damage over time is very meaningful here. And we're done. Okay, we only used four bombs there. Now it's up to the cathedral. We took zero damage on that floor, I think. I mean, effectively, we took zero damage. All right, so it's gonna be easy for us to get to the library, which is great, because that's a double item room. I'd rather not spend more time on the cathedral than is strictly necessary, but, you know, it's nice. We might as well make a small detour here if we can also get a double item room out of the whole shebang. You never know what you could find in here. We got plenty of keys as well. Oh, uh, yes, but no. Uh, I really wanted to pick up that red heart, but it's it's just the wrong decision for us right now. And you know, mini mush is not amazing, but it is nice. the The extra speed will will benefit us a little bit. We're still below that threshold moment where uh, you know our speed would be so high that it's actually like deleterious for us to take it. So will we use a reroll here on our item room? No, because we'll have a reroll immediately available for the chest. All right, again. Oh, man, great shot there. Number one priority for me, pretty much, is just getting to this fight, the the Isaac fight specifically, sorry, the Blue Baby fight specifically, without using the Ankh. If I use the Ankh on that fight, all is going to end well. I can get through that fight only getting hit three times. It's very realistic, and we should win quite handily. 
And we only got hit twice on this one, and that was, you know, I think you could describe that as a pretty bad fight. So I think that went very well for us. Charm of the Vampire, God Awful, Rainbow Baby, not good enough, forget me now, consistently overrated and not even that silly. Remote Detonators, five extra bombs, which I'm pretty excited about. Wiggle Worm is garbage. Attack Fly is slightly better than garbage. Everything else is garbage. Okay. Now, Blue Famine pays out with a, uh, a Spirit Heart. Maybe not if it's killed first. The Flies kind of did that. Ah, no, we still got it, so no big deal. Is this the right way to go to get to the boss room is what we're pretty quickly going to find out. Terrible dodge there, but again, I'm not stressing out over dumb damage too much because really... The only thing that matters is getting into that boss room without dying. If we can live long enough to get into that boss room, we're going to be fine. Uh, so we pick up the poop first. And we put it back down and we reroll a little. And uh, yeah, none of these are really good enough right now, I'd say. Infestation sucks. Speed upgrade sucks. Um, I forgot what the other one was, but it's. I remember thinking it's too little too late for that one. So this might be the right way. I hope that it is, because we've kind of committed to going in this direction, but worst case scenario, at least we get some re-rolls out of it. And that's easy enough. Alright, this is indeed the right way. So we'll have one last re-roll. Uh, this is your, you know, Hail Mary attempt where you hope to have a better spacebar item than the one you currently have, like a better offensive or defensive spacebar item. And Doctor's Remote isn't really what I'm looking for there. I'll take Harlequin Baby. PhD and Doctor's Remote kind of suck. I'm going to keep my reroll for now, just in case we die, then I can still generate more rerolls in the future. That's my philosophy on it, at least. We've gotten very lucky on the chest that we've gotten such easy rooms. Uh, I'll make, you know, no bones about that. This has been easy room generation that has helped us out a lot. And we're actually stronger than we would be if we had the Ankh right now, so this run is pretty much sorted for us, as long as we don't completely blow it here. I really wish that our bombs didn't get so affected by knockback here. Um, but we have a lot of shots coming in, which is, uh, an enormous part of why it's, things are happening the way they are. Alright, just land the poison damage. Homing bombs would actually be maybe better than poison for us in this scenario, but look at it. We're, it's done. We won. Um, we can get hit one more time. Let's try not to, just to make sure that we're very, very comfortable in our own position here. Finish the job. Get a spirit heart. Game's over. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.